Greetings, minions. I'm Empress Red, and this is the M3 Radio Independent News. Sometimes I just can't get the taste of manure out of my mouth. At first, it's danker than denial. Then, it's as acidic as anger. Next, there's the bitter bile of bargaining, followed by the disgusting disappointment of depression. It ends, as expected, with a flavor of acceptance that sometimes is the hardest to swallow. I promise, Minions, it's going to go down so fast, you'll be flushed with excitement. Don't deny it, this is a great idea. A Presidential Memorial Commission wants to create the George W. Bush sewage plant to be dedicated to our presently pooped president upon the inauguration of America's next leader. Proponents of the plan plan a synchronized flush as a symbolic salute as our dream-circling head of state vacates the nation's highest office. Oh, void. Israel is angry. It wants the U.S. to attack Iran to show us how serious they are they launch their own dress-rehearsed war games against the Persian nation. This, of course, set the price of oil up a few shekels. Our administration assured the Middle East ally they would not allow Iran to nuclearize. And we don't want to get the Israelis angry, because they're already nuclearized. Anger is the stage most of us get stuck in, so let's bitch about it some more. Marines are mad the Pentagon's promise to bring 2,000 of them home from Afghanistan wasn't worth the toilet tissue it was written on. A promise is a promise. For those who now deal with the five stages of grief because a son, daughter, or loved one was hurt or died due to this broken vow, words won't express their angry sorrow. I'll trade anything not to report this next story. But after six years and with nothing to show, the rebuilding of the World Trade Center is overdue and over budget. Planners and politicians wasted our money and time. In New York City, we wagered reconstruction of our beloved buildings would have been the best F you to those who attacked us on 9-11. It's looking more like another inside job we didn't bargain for. Here's a depressing thought. Maybe the Supreme Court's decision to allow handgun ownership in Washington, D.C. may be the GOP's long-term plan in the event Democrat is our next president. Will we be seeing another first lady crying in a convertible after a shot from a grassy knoll? Will history repeat itself? Will history repeat itself? Is it time for me to up my antidepressants again? The anger stage of grief is so difficult to resolve, we often must revisit it. A male was jailed after caring for an orphan bear cub. Fearing it would die in the wild, he brought it home. Wildlife officials jailed the man, placed his motherless daughter in foster care, and the bear in the zoo where it refuses to eat. Some days you eat the bear, some days it eats you. But some days, the anger just eats us all alive. No independent news. What and whom we can be. That's called wisdom. I want my minions to look at one another, then wisely realize that those next to you are likely to be in a state of denial, anger, bargaining, or depression. Accept them, because if life is some shit sandwich that we all take bites from, then I believe eating together is a lot more fun than eating alone. I'm Empress Red. And we've been dining on the M3 Radio Independent News. Sayonara, bitches. <laughs>